Hi everyone. I am doing a new file folder type of method and I wanted to show you how I did it. Oh, excuse me. All right. I am taking, oops, excuse me, a regular file folder and I am going to make a page like this that has a flip there and then this will open into the file folder and then this whole thing is one page okay and then this piece here is not going to be open like this it's going to be a pocket and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put it all together and how I did all the measurements and everything else okay what I did was I took a regular file folder and the first thing that I did was I cut this piece here. And I should use a different color so you can see it better. Hang on one second. Ah, okay, here we go. This way you guys can see it a little bit better. Okay, so the first thing that I did here was this. I went ahead and I cut that down to eight and a half inches. And I cut this way first. There's a reason. Okay? And then from here, this part up top down to here, I cut six. Okay? So it is eight and a half this way and six this way. And again, cut this side first. Okay, the reason why is because what you're going to do is you're going to get left with this big piece right here and you need this piece. This one's going to make the W here. It's going to make this piece. See that? And then the other piece is going to make these four little hinges, which you need. Okay, so that's why. And then this bottom piece here when it gets cut makes the pocket. So here's the pieces. Okay, you can see how it kind of see that? And then these are two up top, two up. Okay, so that's how it works. And then to put it together, once you get that all cut, the way that I did it on my W, okay, here's your W see it just like that this piece is going to go here like that okay this flap is going to go onto here like that and this flap is going to go here like that there's a reason okay because when you have the hinge and it's all said and done your hinge is going to go inside of here, okay? And that's going to seal, so this flap will still open, and this will actually move very nicely, okay? Um, you'll see that in just a second when I get it all together. The first thing that I'm going to do is make this piece. Yep, excuse me. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've already made my inside measurement here to half of this folder so that I'm not guessing. I used my centering ruler and then I just drew the line. Okay, the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want to have two little pouches that I can slide tags into sideways. Okay, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want with this pocket. This is just what I wanted to do. Okay, so I wanted to have It'll make two pockets, one here, one here, that I can slide a tag into this way. Okay, and I rounded that corner, so I'm probably going to have to round this, but I'll do it in a minute. I don't particularly care right now. Okay. Alrighty. I'm trying to move as quickly as possible. Right. 
when you use the file folder to create your tabs and pockets and things like that using these um, hinges, you are going to get thicker pockets. Um, that's kind of what I want right now, so I'm not going to be too picky. Come on, you darn thing. There you go. But I am going to try and make it as absolutely flat as possible. But you'll see that you'll get a little bit of an opening. Okay? So that's exactly what I wanted. And I will put my handy dandy little bone folder and make sure this is all nice. And, that, and I'm going to redo my corners because I want them like that. Okay. Um, the reason I'm using the colored folders is I'm going to decorate this album using um, Doodlebug Designs paper, and these color folders match that paper beautifully. I don't know how I got that lucky, but I did. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the back folder here first. There's a reason. Oops, give me that. I want to get this hinge like kind of straight up and down and then just butt this up against it. Okay. The reason why is because I want it to fold. I want this hinge inside here to be able to move freely. Okay. Because that's going to house this piece. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. Leave this piece up like that. Again, butt this into it. Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that's nice and square there. Okay. Doesn't have to be perfect along the inside edge. I would rather it was perfect along this edge. The reason being is because this is just a flap. So if it's a little off there, I don't really care. See how it flaps like that? That's exactly what I want. I want that flap moving nice and good. Okay, now this one. A little bit trickier because it's a little stickier. Um, I'm gonna cover the, if you can see it, the, um, what's gonna call it, piece there because I just don't like the look of it. <laughs> And I don't know whether or not I'm going to get it all covered with my pattern paper or not. But I'm gonna, again, I'm going to make sure that it's lined up that way along the edge more than anything. Okay? And then I'll get my powder later and I'll get rid of that adhesive. Okay, this, this is the reason. You see how easy this folds? And then this will open up that easy. So when this hinge is set and it's glued to something, like a hidden hinge system or whatever else, these pieces will move very, very freely. And that's exactly what I want. Okay? And then this page will turn like this as a whole. Um, and when I use a gutter system on a hidden hinge, that gutter will allow these side pieces here to have a lot more freedom and luxury between pages. All right, that is it. And then, like I said, I will go ahead and I'm going to make the whole entire album and then I'll show you what that will look like when it's all said and done. Thanks.